welcome back my dear friends so today i will try to discuss some important questions about this uh, subject that is the basic electronics which is considered as toughest subject as far as uh, first or second semester is concerned as it depends upon the colleges uh, whatever may be the subject whatever may be, may be the code were there so 18 eln 14 that is uh, in the first semester fourth subject fourth subject and in second semester fourth subject it depends upon your colleges okay my dear friends so uh, it is the matter of concern for most of the students literally my dear friends when i was also in the uh, second semester i was facing some difficulties in this particular subject i just go for the passing for the subject as it was difficult for me so uh, today i will try to discuss uh, some important questions uh, which you should tackle over there so that you can easily pass this particular subject by covering this much portion so in the module first my dear friends so just go through the operation of pn junction diode under biased unbiased condition with a neat diagram and also the, uh, give the uh, diode characteristics over there you may be also aware of this pn junction diode as far as the 12th class is concerned it is only that much concept over there and uh, it is the most important question that is zener diode you have to define the zener diode and how zener diode acts as a voltage regulator it is the most important question in the module first my dear friends so and next question is the with a uh, neat diagram explain working of a bridge rectifier and also working of photodiode lead light emitting diode over there and also uh, the important question is a half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and with waveforms you have to uh, what we call that draw the diagram over there and you have to draw some graphs over there waveforms derive the following and average would uh, you have to derive the average voltage efficiency average current and ripple factor over there so this this much content is uh, enough for the model first go through these topics otherwise the uh, syllabus is vast for this particular subject basic electronics over there so you have to focus only this much uh, five questions in the module first so that you can easily get uh, at least 15 or 16 marks in this particular module over there and now the module second uh, in this module second uh, some theory concepts are go through the second part it contains two chapters over there go through the second chapter and you have to go through some theory concepts like explain the construction working and characteristics of the enhancement type mosfet uh, they will also give the e type mosfet over there so short form is e mosfet that is enhanced type mosfet is over there then n channel jfet it is also an important question over there then how is cmos used as an inverter explain with the need diagram okay this is also an important one in this particular module you just go through these three uh, these three four uh, what we call as type the type of theory concepts over there and also uh, they will give the switching action of an SCR silicon control rectifier over there using two transistor model and focus on the VI characteristics of this uh, silicon control rectifier over there so this is the uh, content for module second my dear friends go through these uh, four or five topics so that you can easily score in this model two also there are a lot of numericals also which uh, which are difficult ones don't go through the and in the module model third uh, you have to write uh, this uh, how an op uh, operational amplifier that is uh, in the short form opamp can be used as a difference amplifier with the neat diagram you have to draw neat uh, sketch over there and also the characteristics of an ideal op opamp okay this is one of the most important questions as for module third is concerned and also explain the following with the with respect to opamp cmrr and slew rate offset voltage matched transistors and virtual ground so also they will give you internal and out uh, in input and output offset voltages over there so go through these theory concepts and also input modes of an opamp how an opamp can be used as inverting summing amplifier that is adder and draw the circuit of non inverting opamp derive expression for its voltage gain it is again an important question in this particular module focus on these five questions in module third so that you will easily score 10 to 12 marks in this particular module over here then module four comes up how transistor can be used as an amplifier it is the most important question as i i have written here written over here that triple star uh, what is the feedback amplifier properties of feedback amplifier discuss about the positive and negative feedback amplifier so you have to define the feedback amplifier then its types that is the positive feedback and negative feedback over there they will uh, what we call is ask over there draw the neat sketch for the positive and no, uh, negative feedback amplifiers over there and write the corresponding equations for these feedbacks okay and with the neat circuit diagram explain working of triple five timers as an oscillator and also explain 
useful and working of a wind bridge oscillator it is again an important part so this is the uh, these are the four questions in the model four you have to take over there no need to go through the numerical part as they are difficult ones so this is the content for the module four my dear friends and then module five comes up but in module fifth numericals are easy over there so you have to go through uh, that uh, convert the base base problems over there uh, see like here find nine to five 0.75 base of 10 is equal to dash dash times base of 8 you have to convert this base of 9 to 5 into base of 8 over there these are easy questions just two or three lines answer maybe over there you can just prefer your notes and then um, second example i have taken it over here that is eb986 base 16 to the base 2 you have to what we call convert over there and same like this uh, 111 and you have to convert the base 2 to the 10 to the 16 like that and also the uh, theory question is explain basic element of communication system with the block diagram over there draw the need sketch and explain some communication system basic element of communication systems and also there are some uh, uh, numericals are also very easy over there sometimes they will ask you with the truth table sometimes without the truth table over there you have to uh, you have to simplify this a b plus a c complement plus a b complement c into a b plus c like that uh, de morgan's uh, law in the mathematics subject as far as 11th uh, PU math is concerned these are simple concepts over here on the basis of de Morgan's theorem okay and again a plus b complement into cd plus e etc these are the questions over there you have to simplify and also this this uh, this question is important that is subtract 11010 from 1011 using 2's complement method it is also a simpler one over there so go through this numerical part in the module fifth here uh, there is a less theory content over there so that you, you may focus over these type of problems you will easily get 10 to 12 marks and also full adder using two half adders and also focus on the de morgan's theorem over there so this much content is for the model fifth so i hope friends this is the enough content for this electronic subject which is a difficult subject for most of the students like me and so you can easily pass this subject i have focused at that time only this much content my dear friends so go through this much content you will easily pass uh, this subject this time hope so so if you are liking my video so just share with your batchmates so that they can avail some benefits from these type of contents so thank you for watching my video my dear friends